Alright, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another Marvel Legendary playthrough. This one's going to be um, one of the weekly challenges. It's Monday challenge number 118 on the Solo uh, Facebook group page. So today's actually Sunday, so... T Ooh, I'm so sorry. Today's actually Sunday, so it's going to be due tomorrow. So I wanted to do this playthrough, um, just kind of change it up a little bit. As you can see, some things are omitted from the, um, from the uh, board. So I'll, I'll explain really quick what the challenge is. So we're going to be doing, um, we need, so you just need the core, uh, set and then a secret reward volume one. So mastermind is going to be, um, oops, mastermind is going to be uh, zombie green goblin. We're going to do legacy virus. Villains are wasteland, hand ninjas, the henchmen, heroes are black widow, Maximus and Namor. This is not, um, focusing. So I'll just talk. Um, so we use advanced solo from dark city. So anything specific to. Well, you know, not the villains Dark Solo, Van Solo, but Dark City's Van Solo. So there's a little minor things. Um, only bystanders allowed are the ones from the core set and from Secret Wars Volume One, which is only the banker. So there's three bankers, and then the rest are regular. We have to use regular wounds, and there's six because it's a legacy virus. Um, and then normal sidekicks are only permitted, so that's why they're face up because it's just the plain uh, sidekicks there. So. Let's go ahead and take a deep dive in real quick on what the thing, uh, the plot, I know the plot, the scheme and the uh, mastermind do. So the scheme, we all know legacy virus, eight twist, wound st uh, stacks, hold six uh, wounds per player. And then each twist, each player reveals a tech hero, gains a wound, and evil wins when the wound stack runs out. So pretty straightforward uh, with using Maximus and Black Widow. Hopefully we can generate some uh, tech cards and it won't be that big a deal. We've got Zombie Green Goblin here as the uh, mastermind. So he gets plus one for each hero in the KO pile that costs seven or more. He always leads the Deadlands, but we're ignoring that because it's solo. And then Master Strike is the Rise of the Living Dead. And then you KO each hero in the HQ that costs seven or more. Then each player discards a card for each hero in the KO pile that costs seven or more. So uh, Rise of the Living Dead is when that ability comes into effect. Um, each player looks at the top card of their victory pile. And if that villain is sitting there with Rise of the Living Dead, it comes back into play and I don't think we'll really have to deal with that um, so it'll, it's just mostly the KOing part is the part we're really having to deal with so let me kind of just scoot this down a little bit here all right there we go all right so let's go ahead and get started here before I shuffled so our starting hand so let's go ahead and... first things first we have uh, Wasteland Hawkeye ambush Wasteland Hawkeye captures a bystander so he's going to have that there. He's six attack. So we're at four and two. Let's go ahead and with our uh, four, we'll grab one of these Enslave the Will, Maximus. So I don't think I've used Maximus. Uh, so it's, gonna, it's kind of cool that we're doing it this time. So he's a tech hero. And if you play a tech card, whenever you defeat a villain, you can uh, gain a sidekick. So. All right. All right. Next card's Hand Ninja. Now we know our hand's going to be the same. So this time, let's go ahead and grab, we'll grab another one of these Maximus cards. All right. So all Black Widow. So, oop, sorry. Anyway, so I know it's been a couple weeks since I uploaded a video. Um, I hope everybody enjoyed Spider-Man. It was really, really good. I think one of my top five favorite MCU films. It was so great. So if you haven't seen Spider-Man yet, Pause this video, go watch Spider-Man, and then come back and finish watching this. Um, but it was really good. Uh, but yeah, I didn't get to upload a video last week. I was just uh, so worn out with work. Work's kind of stressful right now, so just it just takes a lot out of me. Um, and my goal is to get a video out every Monday, but that's not guaranteed. I don't want to make that promise. I know that I said I was trying to do it every Monday, but I, I don't want to make that promise, and then it... That happens, so still expect them on Monday, but if for some reason it doesn't happen, then, um, then sorry. <laughs> I'll try to, I'll try to stick to that schedule, but unfortunately it's just, things are crazy, so I always can't do it. All right, let's, let's deal with this real quick. So we got three attack. We've got three recruit. All right, let's take out a hand ninja. We will have an extra recruit with that. So with that, let's go ahead and grab, uh, this. I've got four. Let's grab a Mission Accomplished Black Widow. So this is the one that you draw a card and if you play a tech hero, you get to rescue a bystander. And then I'll use the other two and get a sidekick. So 
So, oh, geez. Okay, this is not good because all this stuff's on the end. So we've got two, three, four, five, and three recruit. So I'll kill this guy and get a fourth recruit, and I'll gain a sidekick because of Maximus's ability there. I've got four recruit right now, so let's go ahead and grab... Mm, we'll grab uh, Dangerous Rescue, so it's uh, two attack. If I play a red hero, I can KO card from my hand of discard pile. And if I do so, I'll gain a bystander. So The thing being front loaded with the henchman makes me scared. But we've got a few tech cards, so I'm not too, too worried about uh, the legacy virus thing. And honestly, the most Green Goblin can be is 14, so that's not really a thing I'm too worried about either. I, I did have an interesting uh, video idea. Let me know if what you guys would think of this, but next week, so oh, this coming Friday, so not next, quite next week, like six days, five days, Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 comes out for the Switch, and that's a game I have, I plan on getting. And what do you guys think of me doing a playthrough of that? Uploading that like on like Friday, Saturday, or Sunday, just like before the beginning of the week, and then the Monday uh, playthrough is like this, like whatever part of the story is in Ultimate Alliance, at, like whatever you know chapter or however it's broken up. It's so, like I would do playthroughs to coincide with the play, like legendary playthroughs to coincide with the Marvel Ultimate Alliance playthrough that I do. Um, let me know what you guys think if if you'd like to see that. Um, I've have my capture card put up and I haven't got it back out since I moved so it would be cool to, cool to kind of do those together so if you think that's a good idea please let me know and, and we can we can do that we can start that this weekend all right we got wasteland spider girl um she's got a fight effect reveal top card of your deck if it costs two or less KO it so that one we don't have to worry about too much yet we have two attack four recruit uh we'll grab another one of these dangerous rescue black widows Right. Okay, so here's some stuff. Alright, Hulk Gang. He's got Fight, Cross Dimensional Hulk Rampage. So we don't have to worry about that quite yet. It's gonna play this, we're gonna draw two. We're gonna play this, we're gonna draw two. So we're gonna put these back here. Alright, so we got a big hand here. So we've got uh, two, four, six, seven, eight attack, three recruit. Eight attack and three recruit. Let's see. Let's go ahead and take out um, the hand ninja here. So we're gonna get another recruit. So we'll have four recruit, and then we'll take out this Hulk gang. And he goes in my victor pile, and then the Hulk dimensional rampage happens. So don't gain the wound. So we're good there. And then I've got four recruit. So we'll grab a mission accomplished there, and then we'll grab the other one here. Okay. Okay. Now, I knew I had one of these and I was afraid to go after the Wasteland Spider Girl because I was afraid that I would uh, end up KOing it and I want to keep it because if we get a uh, scheme twist, then that's going to be a problem. I'm gonna kind of scoot that over just a tad. Glare's not too bad today. I'm uh, doing okay there. <laughs> All, right. All right. Let's see what we got going on here. All right, so we've got uh, Master Strike. So Rise of the Living Dead, that is something we don't have to deal with. Uh, there are no uh, seven or more costed heroes to KO, and then each player discards a card for each KO. Okay, so then we don't have to discard anything because we have to know uh, heroes that are KO'd. And then we've got Scheme Twist here. I have a tech hero. Oop, why isn't that focused? What happened? Okay, that was really weird. Okay, so I got a tech hero for the Scheme Twist, so we're fine there. Uh, we do have to put one of these on the bottom. So let's go ahead and throw this one to the bottom. Okay. Alright, so let's play this to draw a card. We're going to play this. We're going to play this. We're going to KO one of our cards. If 
card from my hand. So we're gonna KO this. So I'm gonna rescue a bystander. So we've got a plain bystander there. We have three recruit. So with the four attack, let's take out Wasteland Spider Girl. We're gonna look at the top part of our deck and KO it because it costs two or less. And then we're gonna spend three recruit and get another one of these dangerous rescues. So, uh oh, I gotta get that card out of here. Well, we're discarding. All right, scheme twist. So let's see what we got. Um, we have a uh, tech hero, so we don't have to worry about that. Let's throw this to the bottom. Uh oh, there's another the one. <laughs> okay, this may end up being a lot more sad than I thought. So we're gonna play this to draw a card. We're gonna play this to draw a card and rescue a bystander. So we got a bystander there. We're going to. We can't really attack anything, but we have three recruit. We can't recruit anything either. And I have that attack. We can't really recruit anything. So let's get a uh, Maria Hill. So I don't often get those, but I feel like we need a little bit more recruit. And um, I would like to get rid of these. I would like to at least rescue one of these. But I don't think it's going to happen. <laughs> I think they're going to get KO'd. And he'll be 13. But I need to start getting one of these two, and then they'll be my um, powerhouse of attack. The Black Widow is busted. Scheme twist. So let's see. We've got a tech hero, so we're okay there. I'm gonna throw that to the bottom. Okay. So let's see. We're gonna play this. Oh, we'll play this one first. We're gonna play this to draw a card, and we're gonna rescue a bystander. Do the same thing again. Draw a card, rescue a bystander. We have four recruit and three attack, five recruit, I'm sorry, and three attack. We'll grab one of these covert operation Black Widows, so they get plus one for each bystander in your victory pile. I believe, I believe we're at four bystanders. So they're four attack already. So it's actually not too bad. All right, Wasteland Hawkeye, he's gonna capture a bystander. Let's see, we've got two, four attack. We're gonna KO one of our cards from our discard pile, so we're gonna KO that. We're gonna rescue bystander, so it puts us in five bystanders. We have six attack and two recruit. Let's go ahead and kill this Wasteland Hawkeye. Choose one, each other player draws a card or each other player discards a card. So I'm gonna draw a card. I also have a bystander from that. So what did that give me? One, two, three, six bystanders. Okay, with the three recruit, let's grab uh, this Namor, because we haven't used Namor at all this, this game. So lead the armies of Atlantis. These two recruit, and if I play a yellow hero, you gain, gain a sidekick when I play him. So I would have gotten that over the Maria Hill, but it wasn't available. But I feel like I've only used Black Widow and Maximus, so let's get some uh, love to Namor. All right, I can feel it. We're gonna get to a point where we can uh, hit Green Goblin. But I have got to get these uh, rares out of here. Okay. Bystander, I'm gonna go to the Hawkeye. All right. So let's do this. Let's play this. I'm gonna play this to draw a card. We're gonna rescue a bystander. Puts that seven bystanders, I believe. We don't have enough attack, but we have three recruit. Um, I'll grab another one of these name wars. Okay. Scheme twist. <laughs> this is, <laughs> I actually don't have a tech hero, so I'm gonna get a wound. I'm gonna gain a wound from that. Let's throw this one to the bottom. Um, that's pretty funny, actually. Let's see, can I do anything important? So we got two, three, four, five, six, darn it. And I have three attacks, so I can't really do a whole lot. Um, I do have six recruit though, so let's grab one of this uh, Covert Operations Black Widow again. And then I'll use my two to grab this mission accomplished Black Widow. 
So not quite what I wanted, but you know, we'll make it work. We'll make it work. All right, scheme twist. So this is where I get kind of screwed. So it gets plus one. So KO each hero in the HQ that costs seven or more, and then each player discards a card for each hero. Okay, so these both get KO'd. So they are out. He's gonna become 13 attack. So there's that. And then I have to discard two cards. So let's discard uh, this one and this one. We're gonna play another card from the villain deck. Master Strike. Um, I gotta discard two cards again. I'm gonna discard these two. Play another card from the villain deck. Okay, Hulk Gang. Okay, whoo. Okay, <laughs> so first we're gonna play this. That puts me out one, two, three, four, five, six, seven attack. Eight, nine attack. I'm gonna KO a bystander from my hand, or a card from my hand or discard pile. So I'm gonna KO the wound. I'm gonna rescue a bystander. So I have nine attack here. Let's take out Wasteland Hawkeye. That'll give me two more uh, bystanders and I'm gonna draw a card. And I'm gonna play this to draw a card. I think I'm at, I was at seven and I got, oh, so I'm at 10 bystanders now. So we'll double check that when I get another one of those cards, but I'm at, I believe, uh, 10 bystanders. In fact, if I happen to get the other dangerous rescue card from this card draw, then I will uh, end up hit, uh, I can hit Green Goblin. Nope, it's not the one I needed, darn it. Um, I can play that for two attack. Oh yeah, he was, I had nine, this was seven and two, so it left me three. I'm gonna play this for, f now I have five total, I can take out Hulk King. And I already have the, the thing in the, that counts as the victory pile one, so I don't have to do the cross-dimensional rampage. All right, Skeet Twist. No tech heroes, so gain a wound. We're gonna throw this to the bottom. Okay, so this is not turning out the way that I need it to. I got a five recruit. Ah, let's. Let's get another one of these. Oops, that goes back here. And my that's thing is this, so that's all I have. Okay. Scheme twist. I'm gonna uh, discard two cards. So let's discard. Let's see. Let's discard these two. Play another card from the villain deck. Scheme twist. Discard two more cards. So let's discard these two. Scheme, or sorry, Master Strike. Master Strike. Scheme Twist. I have Tech Hero, so we're okay there. Let's throw some to the bottom. Okay. So we're gonna play this to draw a card. We're gonna play that for two attack. We're gonna play that for one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ten attack. I have 12. So I can't do anything because he's 13. Darn it. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, so I think that's all the Master Strikes, so we're okay there. But I gotta get the, I have to make my turns count because we're kinda at a point where, um, we're kinda at a point where I can't really do a whole lot. Let's see, I've got four recruit there. I wanna recruit something. Let's play this to draw a card. I'm not in a good place right now. I think there are about four cards left in the villain deck. I gotta make some moves here. Your bystander. Oh, banker, I get plus two usable under the bank only. Okay, that's not bad. Let's go ahead and just recruit this then. So this one's feed the sharks. I can KO, um, I may KO a card from my hand or discard pile, and if I do, I can draw a card. 
And then we're gonna play this to draw a card and rescue a bystander. So it's a playing bystander. So we have 12 bystanders. Oh, and two, so I have two more recruit. I'll just get a sidekick. Okay. So we have to make some moves here. Can we do it? Right, Hulk gang, okay. The answer is possibly. We're gonna play this. We're gonna play this to KO a card from our deal. So we're gonna KO one of these. It's gonna let us rescue a bystander. Banker again, so we get two under the bank. Um, let's gonna play this to draw a card. Play this to draw a card, rescue a bystander. We're gonna play this, we're gonna KO a card from here. Rescue a bystander. Play this. I've got four because two under the bank for this, so I'm gonna recruit this. And then I've got two, four, six, eight attack. Let's take out, let's take out Waste, uh, Wasteland uh, Spider Girl. We're gonna reveal top card of our deck. It costs uh, two or less. We're gonna KO it. Um, with Maximus' effect, I gain a sidekick for defeating a villain. We're gonna end the turn there. All right, so this is crunch time. To do or die. Scheme twist. Let's see what we got. We do not have a tech hero, so we're going to gain a wound. We're going to put something onto the bottom of the deck. All right. So let's just recap. We got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen bystanders in the victory pile. So first off, we'll play that, 15 attack. We'll play this, we'll KO this, and we'll rescue a bystander. So there's 16, but 15's for the attack. So 15, 16, 17, 18 attack. Four recruit. Let's uh, hit uh, Green Goblin one time. All right, Rise of the Living Dead, so we don't have to worry about that. Then put all heroes from the HQ that cost six or less on the bottom of the hero deck. So that's all of them. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Okay, and then we have five attack left, so let's take out this. And then with the uh, four recruit, um, I'm not gonna recruit anything. Just end the turn there. Okay, so there are two cards left, I believe, in the villain deck. I have to hit him twice on one turn. So we're gonna hope that I can come in clutch here and create 26 tack on a turn. I don't think it's gonna happen. We'll see, maybe. Okay, let's see what we got. Oh, oh Wasteland Kingpin, he gets a bribe. So bribe means you can pay attack or recruit and you can uh, use those attacks. So we're gonna play that to draw two. We're gonna play that card. We're gonna play this to draw a card. And then we're gonna rescue a bystander. We're gonna do it again. We're going to play this and KOA cards from our hand or discard pile. And we're gonna draw a card. Let's see. I'm gonna play this, I gain a sidekick. Because I played a yellow hero. Got four recruit there. Let's see, I've got two, four, six attack. So I've got four recruit. Let's take another sidekick. So, because I gained one, it doesn't count for me as recruiting one. And then I'll get this for two. Okay, and I'm gonna play this. So let's see what we got in terms of one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Oh, hold on. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. Eighteen attack. So eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty-one, twenty-two, twenty-three, twenty-four, twenty-five, twenty-six. All right, all right, all right, all right. Okay, I'm gonna KO something. We're gonna do that to rescue a bystander. All right, so 26 attack. So we have enough to hit him once. Leaving us 13. So Rise and Living Dead, we don't have to worry about that. Okay, it says then reveal the top five cards of the hero deck. K all heroes that cost seven or more. Put the rest back on the bottom of the hero deck in random order. Well, we know 
that there aren't any more. So I'm gonna put the rest back in random order. But we can attack him again. All right, this may be the clutchest clutch win ever. Let's see. All right, Rise of the Living Dead, we don't have to worry about that. Then each other player gains a wound if there are any villains in the city with Rise of the Living Dead. We don't have any of those, we don't have to worry about that. All right, so there it is. Okay, so I gotta figure out about getting 13 attack this turn. And if we do it, we win. Scheme twist, okay. I have a tech hero, so we're good. Good there, let's throw something to the bottom. Oh, stop it, GG. Stop it, GG. Sorry, that's my dog. All right, so let's kind of clear some of this stuff out real quick. So let's see. Um, we're gonna play, let's see. I was trying to think of the best way to do this. Cause we gotta make this work on this turn. So how do we wanna do this? There's three cards, we end up getting them all. Let's play this, a so draw two. Okay, I'm gonna go back here. We're gonna play this. We're gonna play this, we're gonna draw a card. Yes, rescue a bystander, okay. Okay, we're going to play this, we're gonna play this, we're gonna KO one of our cards. Let's KO that. We're gonna rescue a bystander, okay. So this is kind of, this is do or die. We're gonna play this to draw a card and we're also gonna rescue a bystander. Okay, so this is it. So I have to draw, <laughs> I have to have to draw the Black Widow card. Well, let's see. I have two, four, six, seven attack. So I have to somehow get enough cards to generate six attack, which I won't, or I have to draw that one Black Widow card. So I'm shuffling on camera so you can see, I'm not doing any kind of manipulation. So if we get this card, then it's game over, we win. If we get this card, or I have to get stuff to let me draw to it. I'm so scared right now. I'm so scared right now. <laughs> okay, you guys ready? Okay, okay, so we, <laughs> oh my gosh, okay, so we have a chance. We have a chance. We're gonna play that and draw two, okay? Oh, I'm so scared. <laughs> Alright, let's reveal this one first. Yes! Alright, 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 okay, okay, okay. <laughs> alright, we're gonna play this. We're gonna KO one of our cards in our hand, rescue a bystander. We get two underneath the bank. Let's just recruit this. Alright, here it is. So we got two, four, six, seven, eight, nine, and then 10, 11, 12, 13. 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31, 32, 32 attack. We're gonna take out Kingpin and now we're gonna take out Zombie Green Goblin. Yes, all right. And then this one doesn't even matter because we won the game. <laughs> we won the game. So <laughs> here's the big fat stack of uh, uh, victory pile here. So let's go ahead and count this up. And then we will, uh, I'll, I'll be right back. All right, so Victor Pal here pretty much got everything except for a few bystanders. So there's 77 victory points here, but we did have all eight twists come out. So what is that? There's three, 24 minus 24. 77 minus 24 is 53. Is that right? You know what? I'm, I think so. We're gonna take that. All right, guys, that was the video for this week. Let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Let me know if you guys like the idea of doing the Marvel Ultimate Alliance 3 playthrough as well as and coincide legendary playthroughs with it. Um, and uh, yeah, that'll be all for this week. And I'll catch you guys in another video. Thank you guys.